Good day, traders. Oh, I've just been through hell on the phone with Bell Canada. It's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I can't even cancel two services and keep another one going. They canceled all of them. Oh, it's just insane, man. Insane. This world is insane. So is trading, too. Anyway. We have a low and a lower low, right? But this came down too much because it needs to be less on this side and more on this side. And it's the opposite. So there's no divergence right here, ladies and gents. However, we do have see, either one are close enough to the five, see? This one's good. That's it. Lower close. And it's three candles to get to there. Buy it up it goes. It went up. 50 points. And then we had a high and a higher high. And we had divergence to the downside. So you would have sold it right there. Stop right there, 50 points, and it's gone down now, 80 points. You would have got your one-to-one. -one. And when you got in right here, the price did come back a little bit, but did it come back up here to your, where your stop is at the swing high? No, sir, no, ma'am. It did not. And that's what you got to like. Let's move on now to the S and the P. Look at that. Double bottom, basically right off the pivot. See that? Um, that's one thing that a lot of people use and respect is these pivots that I have on my chart. They're amazing. Okay, so uh, we had what we call a double top, I guess. I think, I think they're both going straight across. Or, I don't know. Let's see. We have to lift it way up here. Oh, no, no. I don't have it lined up. Let's line it up. Ah, it's right here. To here. So that is like down here. Straight down. That is divergence. You see how it's pointing down? Yeah, yeah. You see it. And this is our double top. And this is pointing down, so because it's pointing down, it means that when we enter right over here, it's most likely to push down. And that's exactly what it did. So you would have got in right here, your stop would be at the swing high, 9 points. And so far it's went down 21 points. 2 to 1 win-loss ratio. And we have a, let's make it bigger... We have what we what I call um, oh no no wrong one right here. See this closed up above the two moving averages. Yeah yeah, that's a hook down. So on the opening of this candle, you would have sold it right here, and it went down oh just a point and a half, but it went down. Uh, well, that was a quick little scalp for two points, I guess. And then it went up again and closed up above there. And again, it's a hook down. Again. Right there. We got short right here. Went down. Uh, 17. One point. Yeah, one and a half. Three points or one and a half points or I don't know some damn points anyway. Sorry, I'm just so frustrated. I try and cancel two simple services and keep one, and now now they got to make it into a a war zone. It's it was unbelievable, and I still don't have it accomplished yet. They're gonna they're gonna cancel everything when they're not supposed to. Idiots, idiots, freaking idiots. They're, they're calling me right now. Bell. Bell Canada. Okay, I'm back again. More stress on the phone with Bell. 
Can't wait till it to be, for it to be over. Another week or two, maybe. Um, so what? Okay, we're on the down now. Same thing. It came down. Weird shit's happening here. There's no divergence here. It's some weird price action. You know what it is? It's actually not weird. It's just it's 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 what you call control. Here's the, the some news thing that happened here. Then they got people buy it up here, and then they took it down, and then they got their stops. And then they got them selling down here. Then they took it up here and took out their stops. And then once they had everybody long in here, what did they do? They rammed it down again. Is that that's sixteen thirty five? That's the open of the stock market. They rammed it down your face right here, okay? And then they rammed it up your nose right here. And it kept going. Is there divergence here? Mm. Actually, there is. And it worked out after that, too. Motherfuckers. I'm sorry. I just, I'm not happy today. I'm not happy at all. They just got stressed out for like three days now just trying to cancel TV and home phone. And I never wanted the damn home phone to begin with. Yeah, and, and keep the internet that I have. Because it's the best internet. Bell, Bell Fiber Optic Internet. All the other internet, not so good. Anyway, I'm just stressed out here from doing that shit. Um, so you would have got in right here. This is hard to see hidden divergence right here. One's going up, one's going down. Because it's going down and it's hidden divergence, hard to see divergence. Um, it's going to do the opposite of what the other higher highs and lower lows and double tops and double bottoms would signify in the Osma. So... If we're going up, this here should be going up, but it's not because it's hidden divergence. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> I hope you understood what I just said. Oh my God, I'm stressed out here. Okay, you would have bought it here. Uh, stop would be right there at the swing low. It went up 243 points or pips or whatever. That's hidden divergence, see? So stressed out. And then up here, if you have an imagination, <laughs> a little bit of one, as a double top. Yes, that this is a little shy, but it's still a double top, okay? And then we take that right down here to the top. And then it's going to go down like that on a steep decline. See, right there to right there. Okay. This one goes down to here. And where's this one go? Ah, right here. This is going this way. This one's going down. See how this one's going down? And this is a double top. Here. You see, over here, it was like the opposite. But see over here? I'm so glad I understand all this now. Oh, my God. It just came to me uh, not long ago. And I'm sharing it with all you wonderful traders. Um, anyway, it's pointing down, right, on the Osma. That means when it's time to get in the trade, the price is going to go down. And that's exactly what it just did, ladies and gents. Sorry for my stressed out frustration, but you would have got short right there. The stop would have been right there. Okay, so you would have got short right here. Your stop would have been 84 points on the Dow, the US 30. I guarantee you got your 80 points. <laughs> 176 points, ladies and gentlemen. 176. Gotta love it. Two to one win loss ratio on that tr on that trade, and of course there's some. <laughs> oh. 
Well, there's one right there. Higher close, sell it on the opening of this candle where you see the thumb pointing to, and down it goes. Beautiful trade. If you missed the entry right over here, right here, you could have got in. Actually, right here. There's one up here, too. Look, they closed. After it gave the signal, it ran up and closed up above the moving averages, right? So what is that called? That's called a hook down. So you would have got in right here on the close of the candle. We always get in on the close of the candle, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So you would have sold right there. Stop at the swing high, 85 points. Same thing. Went down 174 points. So you would have got in either um, here or here. One of these two spots, and they both would have done the same thing. Here's actually another hook down right here. Let me put it on there for you. It's uh, right there. Closed up above the moving averages. Then this next candle opened up above the moving averages. And when it comes down and closes right here, you would have sold it right here on this candle. Right here. Okay? That's another hook down. Okay. Let's move on now. Pound dollar. Oh, look at that spike on that sucker from that news, eh? Wow, 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 wowza. Is there divergence up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There is. Right there. Oh, it's, yeah, it's from here down. Wherever that is. Yeah, the right one into there and to from there to there. See? That's pointing down on the Osmo, right? It's not hidden divergence. It's high and higher high divergence up here. So because this is pointing down, what does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? I know I quiz you. I know, I know. It's okay. It's good that I quiz you, probably. It probably really sticks in your mind because I do that. And like I told you before, I talk throughout the whole thing. I point to everything, I describe everything, so you learn it and you know it. Like I told you before, there's people, <laughs> they'll, they'll put their mouse right there like that, and they'll go, blah, 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 and you go, what? What the fuck is he talking, or she talking about? You know, they don't point to anything, they just put their mouse there. Yeah. Anyway, this was the entry. This was the higher high divergence and the opposite on the Osma pointing down. It's going to go down. And that's exactly what it did. So say you jumped in mid-flight somewhere right in here. Stop at the swing high. See, 23 points. Or 23 pips. It's the, it's the pound. There's 39 point pips to the bottom. Um, and... I have to ask you this question. When you got in the trade right here or right here, did it go back up to where your stop is up here? No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. And what do we have down here? I don't mean that in a sarcastic way. I mean it in a funny way, okay? It's not like I'm talking to you like your children or something. I'm just fooling around, trying to bring some laughter. Um, yeah, so right here is the divergence. Double bottom. This is pointing up. So it's pointing up. Which way is it going to go? It's going to go up. And that's exactly what it did. And the best part is when you got in long right here, this is your stop right here. Did it come back here to your stop? No. It kept going up and up. And now it's coming back down. And there you have it. That's on the pound. Now on the euro, oh, that really looks messy. Uh, yeah, there's divergence there too. Right there to right there. Yeah. And uh, right there to, I don't even know which one. I think it's this one or this one. Anyway, 
this is going up, this is going down, this is pointing down, meaning the price is going to go down. Somewhere in there, you would have got short. This is the euro, right? Yeah, euro USD. Went down 21 pips. And then down here, look at down here, we have more. We have some more. There it is. Now we got to wait for the five to be above the seven, right? So you would have got long somewhere in here, and it didn't go very far because it's the euro. Went six pips, and your stop is bigger than six, it's 11. So that would have been a crappy trade. <laughs> That's what that would have been. And it, all, and it usually is, the euro. Well, this one's good here because of the crazy news, right? This one? Yeah. And pound yen, what did it do? It's a mess. It's a real mess today. Wow. But it is divergent. <laughs> Too funny. Look at this. Look at this crazy shit. See that? This one going down, this one going up. This one's going down. This line, that means the price is going to go down. So you would have got in right there. Yes, your stop would be huge. Way to the top, 50, 50 pips. And it only went down 23 pips. And after that, I ain't marking nothing on there. That's just some bullshit there. That's, that's manipulation control. Stealing money from people. That's what they're doing. They're doing it like so badly now, I can't believe it. It's like becoming very, very difficult to trade. And if they make it any worse, you know what I think? I think a whole bunch of traders are just going to say, fuck this and give it up. So they fuck everybody seriously, severely, right? What are they going to do? They're going to stop trading. So where are they going to get their money from then? If, if, if they pissed off all these traders and did this shit on the chart. Because I believe, totally believe, this is controlled by some guy to make the price do all this weird shit that it's been doing lately. And everybody knows, shit's happening in the world. So, they're doing this shit. To us poor traders. They're always doing it, but it's, it's like ten times worse now. Ten times, man. Yeah, ten times worse. Is there a divergence there? No. No, there's no divergence here. But there was here. Okay. Didn't go very far. What are we looking at now? Oil, right? Oil. Okay. So if we got in there, 18 ticks. It went up 31 ticks. And then we came down here. This was the news here. No. Oh, this is when it opened. Oil opened here at 9 o'clock today. And this is the shit that it did. It gapped down, went down here to 77.50. Right here. Gave it a kiss and fucked off up. That's what it did. Yeah. That's what it did. And whoever they caught in here selling, guess what happened to them? They lost. So the divergence is here. Pointing down, me meaning the price will go down. And that's what it did. But it chop chopped you up like big time before it went down. Yeah. And gold, right? Gold. There's gold. Right beside it.
<laughs> look at it. Look at it, man. Look at this. Look at that craziness, man. It's full of fake outs, man. Full of fake outs. We can discount this because it's the news, right? But still, it rallied right up. They got people buying up in the air. People think, it's a lot of people, you know, that go, oh, look, look, look. Look at the big pin bar, the big wick. Look at that. Look at this big engulfing candle. I'm going to buy. It's going to go up another 600 uh, ticks today. It's going to go up to 2260 or who knows, right? And then they smashed it back down. They trick you to buy, then they sell it off. They trick you to sell it, then they buy it up. That's what they do. It's all trickery. It's all by design and control to steal your money. That's what these markets are about. And if you don't know what they're doing, which we don't, you're going to get caught on the wrong side of it. And it's ten times worse now. Ten times. Fake out after fake out after fake out. Sorry to say, ladies and gentlemen. I myself, I'm, uh, I'm taking a break from it myself. I suggest you do that too. Take a break from it. If you're really losing bad and getting faked out every fucking five minutes, if I were you, I'll, I'll just leave it alone. Leave it alone, man. Go, go for a walk. <laughs> go do something else for now. You know, maybe till the election is over. Who knows? Um, what am I looking to do here? Oh, I need this one. <sighs> three amigos. One, two, three. I'm getting tired now. You would have got long there. Stop at the swing low, 68 points. Did it go up 68 points? Wow. <laughs> See that? It went up 69.6. It just, just took you to the take profit. So after you got long right here in the opening candle, I have to ask you the question, did the price come back down here and get your stop? That's supposed to be right there. No, they didn't. And there you have it. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be taking a break from trading, but I'll still do the setups each day. I'll still do my video. Okay. So don't think I'm letting go of the stream, the channel now. No, I still like to continue to teach you traders. I really enjoy it. Because I know I have something really good here. It's just they're, they're, they're crazy what they're doing these days. It's just... It's just cutthroat, man. Cutthroat. Anyway, um, I want to thank you for coming out and watching the show today and for listening. And uh, I hope you learned some good stuff. If you could, please uh, hit the like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I want to thank you all the people who've subscribed recently. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck and good trading.